Hey guys, this is Veron from Speak of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So I will first apologize for the really late video. This was supposed to go up two weeks ago, I think, as of recording this, which is when I'll be releasing it soon anyway. <sighs> but it's been a weird two weeks-ish. Because the first time I didn't get to upload the video was mainly just because of an art block. I've been trying to draw Larkspur for two weeks already, like even before this, these two weeks, so four weeks. Um, so the two weeks before I was supposed to upload it, um, I've been having some kind of intense mental creative blocks. Like I kind of knew what I wanted to do with Larkspur, but I couldn't really find the energy to just work on it. And I'd do thumbnails and then I think, oh, I kind of like this idea, but I never really made time for it because I didn't really feel like working on it. So that pushed it back super, super close to the deadline. And then on the Friday that I should be uploading it, I realized I didn't want to work on it. So I just didn't. And I uploaded the, like, the, what do you call that? The extra video, the my backup video instead. So that backup video is the watercolor sketchbook video, which I kind of, I really love that video. Um, I just tended to keep it not in the schedule because I felt like it's something I could upload anytime, anyway, and it's a sort of a backup that in case I wasn't able to upload the video, like if I got sick or if I got. Um, if I have to go somewhere and I won't be able to do anything about uploading videos, I would have that up. So that went up last, um, last, last Saturday. And then I worked on Luxpur almost right after. I don't know why, but like on the Sunday of, uplo of uploading the watercolor sketchbook video, I worked on Luxpur and I didn't like how it turned out and here's the footage. Unfortunately, I got horribly sick within that next week so I went to work on Monday and then I started feeling really feverish at work I went home had a you know a very slight fever Tuesday I was completely down um, it was a really bad cough and cold um, I, could, I was weak I, could, I couldn't stand up I couldn't like go to my computer or do any sort of anything I was like sleeping constantly and then for the next four days I was like kind of bedridden and I ended up having to go to the hospital for a little bit. I got confined over the week. And um, so Friday, Saturday, I was there in the hospital. Which meant that I had no way of uploading my videos. So if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you would have seen that I uploaded a picture saying that due to a personal emergency, I won't be able to upload a video that this week. Or that week because I was in the hospital. The personal emergency being me. <laughs> I was in the hospital. Um, everything's fine now. They gave me medicine and vitamins and stuff to boost my immune system because it went really down. So now I'm sort of okay. I still have a bit of a cold. I'm taking some antibiotics so that it would kind of kill whatever this infection is still here. So that my voice sounds kind of like raspy and stuff like that. It's still because I'm not 100 and 10% recovered, like, my voice still is sort of dead. No, it's not, it's there, but it's, like, raspy, because there's a bit of a cough left. Um, there's still a bit of colds left, so a couple more days medication, maybe, and I'll be back to normal. Yeah, but I'm fine. I'm back to drawing, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. The only problem now is I have a ton of stuff to catch up to. Like, I haven't done live streaming in two months, I think. So I don't have any videos from that. And I just finished Larkspur before I got sick, so I don't have anything other else to upload. So, yeah, I am sort of... Yeah, I need to start making videos again, because I am... I am going to be in trouble next week if I don't have anything to upload. Or, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So, like, I usually try to make the videos a little bit in advance, like a week or two in advance, so that just in case something like this happens, I have something, uplo something to upload. And I do have some backup videos left, but I don't really want to use them yet, <laughs> especially if I can make something. And 
yeah. Also, I tend to like. It's not that I'm trying to make stop in advance, or I am, but also because I tend to draw when I want to draw. So sometimes that's amid in the middle of the week, I would put out two drawings right away on top of the normal like live stream. So sometimes I do have spare footage, and I would keep that for a while, edit that voice over, whatever. So I'd have an extra video for a week, or just like it's just there. I don't need to worry about having no video, and I can relax a little bit. Unfortunately, because of my creative block and getting horribly sick, I have not had the chance to do any of that. So, I need to hustle a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, it's half the video already. I should start talking about Lexper. So, Lexper is the flower of the month for July. It is meant to be like this nice, refreshing, playful, joyful type of flower. Um, it's meant to symbolize like um, like fresh spring or something like that. I'm trying to go back to see what there. It's supposed to be levity, lightness, refreshing, joyful, fickleness, and sweet. So, um, I went through a couple a couple and by a couple a lot of thumbnails and sketches trying to get that refreshing joyful feeling because when I read the description for Luxper I kinda did know what kind of vibe I wanted to go with for it the problem was getting it down on the paper and like trying to solidify what kind of image I want to be on the paper and that's where my creative block decided to put itself in and you know, have give me a hard time. So I went through a lot of a ton of poses and sketches and then like when I already found the pose I wanted, suddenly I didn't want to draw at all. And that's like weird because like drawing is my thing. It's like it's all I do to like keep myself sane. Uh, it has to calm down, it has to deal with stress. That's why when I was in the hospital, I kind of kept on drawing because I was a little bit stressed from being stuck in the ER for half a day, like 12 hours plus uh, 30 hours even actually. So like drawing is my thing and not being able to draw is weird. But what can I do? Like, I couldn't draw. <laughs> so, but fortunately, I was able to sort of get it out. Now what I wasn't able to plan out properly because I still was kind of in an art block was the colors. I was imagining like greens and pinks and oranges and yellows, which there is an orange and a yellow, but for some reason everything turned very cool colored themed and it's interesting I guess. I mean like the flowers are purpley-ish. I just didn't expect the entire piece to follow that purpley-ish vibe. <laughs> Another thing I'm trying to do with this installment of the Flora series is I'm, I'm of course trying to improve my colored pencils techniques. And I've been trying to venture out a bit more in color combinations in the sense like, for example, with the hair. In the past, if it was like this plumish shade, I just keep on going for cooler colors and or like something within its family. What I did this time, the reason it turned out this color as well, so I added like a dark blue for the shadows. And it's interesting. Um, it took my color scheme in a direction I don't know if that's what I intended. I, well, no. That's a, color, that's a color scheme I did not really intend for. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's just not what I imagined. It's fine, I guess. <laughs> This is interesting. I think if I master how to do that or how to do I master that technique, I feel like it will give a bit more depth and life to my works. And it's essentially like washes in watercolor, you know? Um, washes add like a tone to it that makes the piece, the entire piece look cohesive. And that could be like an orange on top of a blue or something like that. That's I guess that's how it will work, maybe. We'll see in the next couple of pieces. Um, 
yeah so i will go back and try to think of more pieces to draw hopefully my art block is gone after that kind of slightly stressful two three days being in the hospital and i hope you guys enjoyed me ranting and stuff like that. i don't know just babbling i guess uh please follow me on facebook instagram and event art um, there you'll see me post announcements if I'll be able to post a video or not, or if something's happening or not, and stuff like that. Other than that, I post tips there as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe if you did, and I'll see you around.